Hello, my name is Maria, and in this video I am going to explain how to solve an example of healthcare and medicine using machine learning software Neural Designer. The topic of this example is diabetic retinopathy prognosis. This dataset provides the results of different analyses such as systolic, diastolic, and cholesterol. We want to build a model in order to predict whether the patients will have a disease or not. The first step is to download the data file from the link below. We open it and we see that it contains information about 6,000 patients. The data file also contains five columns, the age of the patient, the systolic, the diastolic, the cholesterol, and finally the target variable, which tells us whether or not the patient will suffer diabetic retinopathy. Then we open Neural Designer and we can see that in the main tab there are two kinds of projects we can create. In this case, we want to classify if the patients are suffering a disease or not, so we need a classification project. Once we have created the project, the first thing we have to do is to import the dataset we have just downloaded. Once it is imported, we can see the data preview, where we can check the number of columns and the total number of patients. In this table, we can check the different variables or features and select the target variable, that in this case, as we have said before, it is prognosis. In order to get some information from the data, we will start performing some analysis. First, we want to know how the different variables are distributed and in order to do that, we can calculate the column distributions. We have different distribution charts for all the variables. At the end, we have the p-chart for our target variable. Uh, we can observe that around 51.45% of the patients are going to have retinopathy. We can also check which of the variables have the greatest impact on the target variable. The way to do this is to calculate the input target correlations. Here, we can see that the variables that have the highest correlation are age and systolic. Now, we will start building our model to predict whether the patients have diabetic retinopathy or not. We click in Neural Network and as first guess, we can leave the settings as they are by default. But it is also possible to add or remove both perceptron layers and neurons. Now, we can create and see the Neural Network. The diagram means that when we introduce four inputs or variables in the neural network, it gives back one output. The next step is to search for the parameters of the neural network that fit it to the dataset. This process is called training. We train the neural network and in this chart we can see how the error decreases. The most important result in the training is the final selection error which gives the general capabilities of the neural network. In order to see how well the neural network can predict patients' disease, we will perform the testing analysis. To validate a classification technique, we need to compare the values provided by this method and the observed ones. The standard testing method for binary classification projects is the rock curve we obtain a parameter called area under the curve. A perfect model will have an area of 1. In this case, the value is 0 0.82, which is also quite good as it is close to 1. Another testing method is the confusion matrix. In this matrix, we can observe in the diagonal which patients have been correctly classified. Around 464 are having diabetic retinopathy and are also classified as having it. 
Besides, around 429 are not having the disease and are also classified as not suffering it. On the other hand, we can see on the sites the number of patients that have not been classified correctly. In total, around 300 patients. Finally, in the model deployment section, we can calculate outputs. We can introduce the variables of a new patient and calculate the probability of this patient suffering the disease. As an example, we introduce our variables. And we observe that this patient has a probability of 98% to have diabetic retinopathy. Moreover, it is also possible to get the mathematical expression which can also be exported to different programming languages such as Python or C. Thanks for watching. Hopefully, this tutorial helped you out to learn how to use Neural Designer profitably for your company.